Hi everybody, it's Gemma. Welcome back to Pampered Wolf and welcome to my current autumn and winter skincare routine. There are some new products slotted into this routine so it's completely different to last year's skincare routine. And because the key to an autumn and winter skincare routine is hydration and light layering, there are quite a few products in this routine. So although if you're wanting to emulate this routine, it's going to cost you a pretty penny to actually buy all these products in in the first place, because you're only using a very small amount of each product these products are going to last you for a really really long time if you haven't seen my autumn and winter skincare tips video i highly recommend you go and give that one a watch i will link that one up here and also in the description box so you can watch that a little bit later on but that one has lots of different recommendations for each category in this video so if you want to switch any of the products out in this video you will find recommendations in that video. So again, I will link that one up here and in the description box. So again, this is my personal skincare routine. These are the products that I use and how I use them. You can use them in a completely different way if you want to or use completely different products. Everyone's skin is completely different, but this is my personal routine. So if you are new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I am a qualified esthetician and lover of anything beauty, skincare and makeup. I upload videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8 p.m. London time. And I'm also on Instagram if you fancy checking me out over there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase and no spaces. Let's get on with this video. So let's start off with the morning routine. I start with a damp face. As per usual, first thing in the morning, I will go into the bathroom and I will splash my face and just give it a slight massage with water just to remove any skincare or any natural oils from the skin with that water, just so we've got a clean canvas. Now, I am not big on AHAs and BHAs on a daily basis. I do my exfoliating once a week. However, if you really do like to apply an AHA or a BHA every single day in the morning, now is the time that I'd do it. And I'm only saying that because although it's not my personal routine, I know I will get asked where to slot this in. And I know a lot of people like to do this in the evening. You can do this in the evening, but if you're gonna do this every single day, it means that you have to be very careful where you slot your retinoid. And as I really recommend that everybody uses a retinoid within their skincare routine in the evening, I like to slot any AHAs in the morning, but I don't do that. So let's move on to my skincare routine. The first product I actually use on my face is the superoxide dismutase saccharide mist from Neod. Neod, Niod, I'm never actually quite sure how to pronounce this. I'm sure somebody will tell me in the comments section. Anyway, when I first started to use this, I was actually using it as a spritz all over my face. It took me a while to realize I was wasting a lot of product and this product is really quite pricey. So what I do now is I spray it into my hand. I was doing about seven pumps of this all over my face. I now spray this four times in my hand and then just pop that on the hands and press that over the skin. This way you're getting it exactly where you want it. You're getting an even coverage absolutely everywhere and you're not losing any on your clothes and in the air around you. So you can use it in the spritz. It's absolutely fantastic. If you prefer to use it that way, then you go ahead. But this lasts me double the amount of time doing it this way. So the superoxide dismutase saccharide mist I have already done a full-blown review on. It is cruelty-free. I will link that review up here for you. I'm not going to go into too much depth about what this does, but basically it is super hydration, which is definitely what you need within the autumn and winter months. It's also great antioxidant, so it will give you that protection factor as well, and it's also fragrance-free. So the next two products I'm going to add in a cocktail. You don't need to do this. A lot of people say that I'm wrong for applying things within a cocktail and they'll degrade each other and they won't work on the skin properly and you won't get an even coverage. 
This is personal preference. I don't see a problem. I've seen great results on my skin from using cocktails on my skin. And you know, if you don't wanna do it that way, just apply these individually in layers. But you know, I like to save as much time as physically possible first thing in the morning. So these next two products are niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1% from The Ordinary and also Matrixel 10% plus hyaluronic acid. So you're getting a double dose of hydration here because you're getting the hyaluronic acid within the Matrixel and the Matrixel also has beautiful peptides in there to help plump the skin, to help soften those fine lines and wrinkles and just make your skin glow. Whereas the niacinamide is just a staple within all year round skincare for me. This not only will regulate your natural sebum production, but this is a fantastic skin barrier protector. This will promote skin barrier health, which will allow your skin to work more effectively at retaining the hydration that you're just about to apply. So we want to apply light layers. These, this is the niacinamide, and I put four drops of that in my hand and then I'm going to apply the Matrixel and I'm only actually going to apply two drops of this to this mixture and then I'm just going to really rub that together in my hands and then press that on my face including around my eyes. Now you will probably be questioning why I'm not using an eye serum that's coming in my evening skincare routine so don't worry. I do love an eye serum, not a fan of eye creams as I've spoken about on my channel before, but if you choose to use one, that is absolutely fine. So the next product I'm gonna be applying is the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drops. This is amazing. I'm going to apply 10 drops of this to the palm of my hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then once again, just make sure that I distribute that all over my hands and then I'm gonna press this into my face where I need it. Now I avoid my eye area with this. You don't have to, but for me personally, it irritates my eyes a little bit. So I tend to avoid the eye area. Make sure forehead to nipples once again and just pat that in the skin. This is so luxurious. It feels divine on the skin. So the Claire's Fundamental Watery Oil Drops are just full of hydration. They will really pack that hydration into your skin. It's also full of antioxidants, which will add that protection factor as well to your skin. And it just gives you that dewy, glow which is extremely youthful so if you're not planning on wearing any makeup throughout the day which I tend to do most days I know that may shock a lot of people but I tend not to wear makeup on a regular basis anymore this product just makes your skin look so youthful and just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous as well as doing the skin a lot of good along the way a couple of minutes after I put that on and it's just sank into the skin a little bit. This is when I'm gonna apply my CeraVe. Now this is the CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. It's a lovely lightweight cream, really, really beautiful, but I'm only applying half the amount that I would apply within the summer months. And that's because we've applied a lot more layers than I usually do in the summer months. We've already got that hydration and that nourishment from all the other things. I want to apply this because of the beautiful ceramides in which will promote a healthy skin barrier and allow all of the hydration that I've just applied to my skin to be locked into my skin. Now, I know a lot of you will be thinking, well, you always say to apply an oil after cream because an oil can penetrate cream, but a cream can't penetrate oil. But because the fundamental watery oil drops are within a water-based solution and it's a very, very thin serum-y formula, I would apply that before a cream. Even though this isn't a heavy cream, I would still apply that before this cream. So I'm just gonna press this onto my face and underneath my eyes as well. Now, whilst I'm waiting for that to sink in, don't forget the lips. And during my previous video on skincare tips for autumn and winter, I mentioned lots of different lip products. 
Since I made that video, I have tried a new product from Dr. Sam Bunting. This is the Flawless Lip. This actually is the best lip product I have ever tried on my lips. This is just one of those products that took me a little bit of time to get used to the natural taste and smell of this product because it is quite whiffy. I mean, a lot of people will like it. I think it smells and tastes of clove and clove is an acquired taste, but I'm used to it now. So it comes out and it is a yellowy color. It's very, very thick. It takes a while to first get it out of the tube. It's that thick, but it doesn't feel sticky on the lips. And the only two ingredients that are in here are lanolin and ceramides. If you're allergic to lanolin, <laughs> please don't use this, but it's an amazing, amazing product. So I just spread that on the lips. It is very thick, but it's comfortable to wear. And you don't need to apply the amount that I've just applied. I have just applied quite a bit, but um, it's a lovely product. I have been for walks in the countryside in the blistering wind with this on and when I've got back, it's still been on my lips. And the last product that I apply to my skin, whether it be spring, summer, autumn, winter, is my SPF. Now you can choose whichever SPF you want to apply to your skin, but my favorite at the moment is the Centella Green Unscented Sun SPF 50 plus, and it's got a very high UVA protection rating. It's PA++++, which is the highest UVA rating that you can possibly get in a sunscreen. So like I said in my previous video, I recommend wearing SPF all year round. You know your own skin. If you choose to use an SPF that has a lower protection value, that is your personal preference. It's entirely up to you, but I tend to use an SPF that is 30 or above all year round. I just don't think it's it's just worth the risk. And SPFs are so good now. They're not as thick and greasy as they were before. So uh, I just prefer to wear it all year round. So that's it for my morning skincare routine. A few very light, thin layers to achieve hydration and protection whilst not making your skin feel suffocated because you've applied a lot of heavy things to the face, which just isn't necessary. My skin will still be hydrated later on today because of the way that I've applied and the products that I've applied to my skin. So let's move on to the evening skincare routine. So as you've just heard, in the mornings, I tend not to use a cleanser. I just splash my face with water, massage it a little bit, dab it dry and get on with my morning skincare routine. In the evening, regardless of whether I've got any makeup or SPF on my face, I always recommend a double cleanse. Always, always, always. Now the first product I use for a double cleanse in the autumn and winter months may surprise a lot of you. Now I've spoken about this cleanser a lot on my channel, I love it, it's divine. The smell is just, oh, so beautiful. Just transports me back to that spa environment where you just feel really luxurious. This is the Bare Minerals Oil Obsessed. Now, any of you that watch every single one of my videos, and thank you, by the way, you will probably have heard me say that this is most suited for anybody with an oily, combi skin. Not really for those of us who have dry skin, although you can still use it, it's greatly beneficial, but usually an oil cleanser high in oleic acid will be better for anybody with a dry skin. This one is rich in linoleic acid. Now, the reason I like to switch over to this one in the autumn and winter months is linoleic acid is absolutely fantastic for promoting a healthy skin barrier. And that is what is important to me within the autumn and winter months. My skin is going to get enough nourishment from other things within my skincare routine. It doesn't need to get it from my oil cleanser. So I ditch my oleic acid oil cleansers in the autumn and winter months and I go back to my linoleic acid ones. You can carry on with your oleic acid oil cleansers if you want to, but um, 
I prefer to switch it back to the linoleic acid, which is just as beneficial for anybody with a dry skin. You're just not gonna get that super boost of oils into the skin to help with your dry skin but you can do that in other things. I'm waffling on now, I'm going to move on. If you want to know more about linoleic and oleic acid, I will link a video up here for you to watch and I'll also put it in the description box for you as well because I just feel like I'm going on about that a little bit too much. So once I have emulsified this and splashed it off my face with water, I'll then go on to my second cleanse. Now I can use that for a second cleanse if I want to, but during my search for the best affordable cleansers, I came across the CeraVe SA Smoothing Cleanser, which is absolutely amazing. And at the moment, I'm using this as my second cleanse. This is absolutely fantastic for anybody with dry skin or anybody with oily skin. It really does deep cleanse the skin. It also helps to remove any dead skin cells from the surface of the skin, but it does it very, very gently. So absolutely love this. So first cleanse, second cleanse. Okay, so I like to have a bath every single night and as soon as I get out of the bath, I like to start the first part of my evening skincare routine. Now, once a week, I like to use a liquid exfoliant to make sure my skin is fresh, there are no dead skin cells on there and the liquid exfoliant that I prefer is from Paula's Choice. This is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant and it is phenomenal. It does the job, it does it quite quickly. It not only melts off the dead skin cells that you have on your skin, it also really cleanses deep down in the pore. But it does it very, very gently. In fact, I've been known to use this on my 11 year old. So that's how gentle it is. It's a really beautiful, beautiful formula. So once a week, I will get out of the bath, I will dry my face, just pat it dry, and I will apply this immediately to my skin. The next products that I'd use, and if it's not the day to use my Paula's Choice Liquid Exfoliant, this would be the first product that I would use on a daily basis is once again my Neod Superoxide Dismutase Saccharide Mist. Such a beautiful product. So I've already explained what's in it. Again, four pumps into my hands and then I just press that all over my face. The next product I use is my eye serum. This is again from Neod and it's the Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate. I don't feel it necessary to use this first thing in the morning. I'm literally just putting the tiniest amount on my finger and this is probably too much. And I'm just patting that around the eye contour area. Now I find that you can apply this to the lids. Some people get a little bit of irritation though. So if you start to get a bit of irritation, then stop using it on your eyelids and just press it underneath the brow bone around the eye contour area. I love this product. It just makes the skin around the eyes bouncier. It softens those fine lines and wrinkles. It really plumps the skin up. I've seen a lot of difference in my skin underneath my eyes using this product and it lasts such a long time because I don't use it first thing in the morning and because I'm using such a minuscule amount on a daily basis. The next product I apply in the evening is my CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. Now this is the one for dry to extra dry skin. You don't need to use this one. You can use the normal skin one or the normal to oily one. Um, but uh, I apply very, very little of this and I just pat it over my skin. Now I have a slightly different routine I would say because I tend to have a bath quite early on in the evening around about eight o'clock and then once I've done this portion of my skincare routine I tend to go downstairs and get on with the rest of my evening. So if you don't want to do that, if you want to apply absolutely everything before you go to bed, what I would recommend is that you now leave at least 20 minutes because I'm going to be applying my tretinoin after this and you need to make sure that all your skincare has soaked into your skin and your skin is dry before you apply something as potent as tretinoin to your skin. If you're just applying a retinoid on top, you can do that 
pretty much straight away. I would probably leave two to five minutes in between, but if you are gonna be using tretinoin, I would advise that you leave at least 20 minutes to make sure your skincare has soaked in. Like I said, I usually go downstairs and it's a couple of hours before I come up and apply the rest of my skincare. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. So once I actually do come to bed a couple of hours later, I like to apply my tretinoin. Now my tretinoin is from a company called Dermatica. You don't need to use Dermatica, you can use a different company, or you can get this directly through your dermatologist if you have one. But the tretinoin that I have is 0.05% tretinoin. I don't feel the need to jump up a level. This is doing absolute wonders for my skin. But I also have hydroquinone 4% in here to soften and diminish my hyperpigmentation that I tend to get within the spring and summer months. So um, this one, is slightly thicker and more of a cream consistency than the one that was just tretinoin and niacinamide in there, which tended to be more of a gel-like consistency. This is much, much thicker. So I'm just going to spread that onto my fingers and press that into my skin, missing out the areas that I always miss out when I'm applying tretinoin. And if you haven't seen my tretinoin for beginners video, I'll link that up here and also in the description box for you because I actually draw a line on my face so that you can make sure you get it in the areas that you need to get it and avoid those areas that are gonna cause you some irritation. But the reason I'm telling you the consistency of the product is because the consistency of the product and what sort of formula it's in, whether it's in a gel-like formula, a cream-like formula, can make a difference to how your skin reacts to the tretinoin. So I never had any problems, any flakiness at all with my tretinoin when it was in a gel-like formula. However, since I've switched up to using tretinoin within a thicker, creamier formula, you tend to distribute that on your skin in a thicker layer and I found that I'm getting a lot more irritation. Not really irritation, but a little bit more flakiness in certain areas. So that's something to watch out for. I do know that I am a little bit of a weird one for that though because most people suffer the other way. So most people suffer more with a gel-like formula because gel-like formulas tend to sink into the skin a lot quicker so you get a lot more irritation. I didn't find that out but I'm just warning everybody you may get that. So starting tretinoin can be slightly complicated but if you do start getting a lot of irritation with a certain product go back to your dermatologist or wherever you bought the product from and ask them if it's normal to get that and if you would receive less irritation with the tretinoin in a different formula. It's always good to ask. Now, just to clarify, I would not apply my tretinoin on the days that I use my liquid exfoliant from Paula's Choice. If I was using the Paula's Choice one, I would miss out this step. This step is for the days that I'm not using my Paula's Choice. I just forgot to mention that, so I, I desperately needed to get in there and clarify that point because you don't wanna be using those two products on the same day. Okay, so like I said before, hydration is key to any autumn and winter skincare routine. And you'll have seen I already applied my moisturizer earlier on in my evening skincare routine. However, I am going to apply some moisturizer again. I tend to use my the same moisturizing lotion, which is a really light cream. You can use a heavier cream at this point if you feel like your skin needs it, or you feel like you really do need to lock in that hydration with some heavier occlusive ingredients. So I would use this, but you can use something a little bit heavier if you wish. And finally, on those days where I feel like my skin is irritated, my skin is slightly uncomfortable, maybe it's drier than usual and just needs that extra boost, this is when I would introduce something very occlusive and very nourishing. Now, you can use whichever product you want. The product that I really like is the Medicaid Ultimate Recovery Intense. This is absolutely phenomenal. 
It's not too heavy, but it's heavy enough. If you want something seriously occlusive, I would recommend putting Vaseline on the skin, but only on the areas of skin that have that irritation. I wouldn't necessarily recommend putting Vaseline all over your skin. If you do, that's your choice, but it's, you know, not something that I would overly recommend. So this is the Medicaid Ultimate Recovery Intense. It's just lovely. It's really, really lovely. It's slightly creamy in colour and it's very, very thick. Very, very thick on the backs of my hands. It feels slightly sticky to the touch. So I just pat this on the areas that I need it. You can also use this in the day if you are going on a cold, blustery, windy walk and you are afraid that your skin is going to get really, really dehydrated on that walk, then you can apply this over the top of your normal skincare to just lock all that hydration in your skin while you go for a walk. I don't tend to feel that that is necessary for me. With all the products that I use in the morning, I find that that's sufficient. But if you do suffer, if your skin barrier is impaired, then this is the cream that I'd recommend. And one last thing, don't forget your lips. So just a tiny bit of the Dr. Sam lips. So just to reiterate, on the days that I use the Paula's Choice 2% BHA uh, liquid exfoliant, I don't use my tretinoin. I never mix these on the same day. So I use this one day a week. I use this six days a week. And also the Medicaid Ultimate Recovery Intense Cream. I don't use on a daily basis. This is the one that I pick up when my skin is feeling irritated, when my skin barrier is slightly impaired, usually from user error from an acid peel, if I'm being completely honest. I've reached for this less and less and less over the last couple of months because my skincare routine is so nourishing and so hydrating and really caring on the skin that I've really looked after my skin barrier and I need this less and less. So that's just a little bit of information, but this is a great cream if you get any sort of irritation on the skin whatsoever. So that's it for this video. I really hope you found it helpful. Like I said, this is my personal skincare routine. You don't have to use all of these products in your skincare routine if you don't want to, but it works for me. Hope you found it helpful and hope to see you all in the next video. Bye everyone.